coming back finally was amazing because um, it, it, it's it's pretty emotional to be honest because it's like even just getting here was a win you know it's like I, 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 I never made it this far in my season since then I got hurt last time like even just getting healthy through the Olympic like trying to make the Olympic team that was a big emotional build a lot of physical toll so just getting through the whole season and getting here healthy was a huge win and to be here healthy and fit was like all right like we can't waste this you know like I'm here again I can I can win this like now I just got to do it so um talking to Scott on the way over here Scott Gelfi was so funny because yeah three years ago as a as an eager young college kid on my first pro race like I was like yeah I think I can win I was all getty or, or giddy um, and this time I just felt so much more experience where I'm like, I know I can win. Like I know these guys, I've raced them, I beat them, they beat me. I knew exactly what I'd do. It's like, I just need to do it. I need to execute today. It's not so much about like defying the odds. Today is just about like doing what I need to do. Um, so coming in a little bit more like an experienced racer and uh, hey, you know, breaking that tape uh, was awesome. You know, I, this was my first like major win. I've won uh, Twin Cities Marathon and Miami Marathon. But, you know, the competition wasn't as, you know, uh, as elite. So that was great, you know, crossing that finish line, definitely relief. Um, I had a week off uh, because uh, I had to take a week off. I was training since uh, November of last year. So I took a week off two weeks ago and I had a week of training and uh, just to come back and, uh, you know, do the rest of my uh, racing uh, um, season to finish it off uh, until November. So that, that felt great. You know, you feel a little bit of relief. Uh, excitement, obviously, and you know the crowd at the end. Honestly, I forgot how challenging the course was. Like the rolling hills, the first three or four miles. So it was really nice to be able to work together. Uh, thankfully, the race didn't string out. In past years, I have found myself running alone, kind of in a long line. But it made it go by a lot quicker having all the girls uh, next to each other, and we did have the two front runners to chase. And over the last two miles, it's when we got it down to I think uh, three or four of us. And I do remember it being a long finish, and so I knew that I couldn't kick too soon because that last final hill is kind of a, a killer, but um, everyone did a great job, and it was a really close finish in the end. I spent a lot of time here, and between like actually, you know, I'm a big track nerd. Like, I love the data, I love looking at cores and stuff. So between actually having the hometown advantage, like, I don't know, like literally, I guess, or just like from the logistics side. It's also like an emotional advantage too. Like I have so, so, such strong ties to this community, to this race, that um, even just coming here and knowing the course well is an advantage itself, but also just the energy I have when I'm here. And you know, my last mile, it's like, it's not me just winning for me. It's like, I got Scott Gelfi at the finish line, who I want to see, my girlfriend, my family's here, you know, the community, the, the, the road race team, who I go and visit every time I'm here, like all these people supporting me. Um, that last K is just about everyone, and it just, it just gives you the momentum you need to kind of get the best out of yourself. It is a great course, beautiful course, uh, great spectators. I mean, the town is so welcoming. It's, it's awesome, just doing this race uh, in uh, August. is It's very hot and humid. But, you know, we just keep coming back because it's a, it's a fun race.